Bots are a go. Potentially deadly robots will be used by San Francisco police in extreme situations, but only under supervision. The controversial plan passed after a long and heated debate. NBC Barry Stephanie Magallon joins us now. And Stephanie, police say that they need these bots to prevent officers from getting hurt. Right, Jess. So we're talking about robots that police have had for years now. The difference is officers are now able to equip them with explosives and utilize them as their last resort with the permission of certain high-ranking officers. These robots defuse bombs. They give police a closer look at an active crime scene. And now? It passes unanimously. San Francisco's police force will have the ability to use them as potential lethal force options. But that decision wasn't made lightly. We heard passionate arguments and clarifications coming from both sides. Of course I don't want any officer uh, to, 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 to lose their life, but I, I think that this is that, that, that the, the, the scenarios that we're using are, are hypotheticals to, br to bring up fear. These are not autonomous robots. No one's tapping in. These are, these are trained police officers that would utilize a robot. A new state law now requires law enforcement to have public discussions when acquiring and utilizing military-grade weapons. That's what happened here. And the plan passed only after an amendment clarifies robots would only be used as a lethal option after the use of alternative force and de-escalation tactics or if police determine they are not able to subdue the threat safely after evaluating other options. Only the chief assistant chief of operations or deputy chief of special operations may authorize the use of robots as a deadly force option. Supervisor Walton was one of three against the plan. In a statement, he wrote in part, this is not in line with making changes to address a disproportionate number of black people and people of color that are typically on the receiving end when police weapons are utilized. Supervisor Dean Preston also voted against using robots as potentially deadly weapons. He described the plan as disturbing and says it's a sad day for our city and it shows how far we have strayed from the reckoning on police violence in 2020. I'm Stephanie Magallon. Back to you, Jess. Bots are a